Hey everyone, welcome to a slightly different pick a card reading. I'm experimenting with the format again. This time I filmed it outdoors. I went to Stonehenge and the footage you're seeing is of London. I started the journey last night actually and my friend and I caught a bus which the guy insisted should be called a coach and we got on that coach and we walked about I think it was half an hour through the mist and through the night sky we we walked for yeah a good half hour at least to get to the stones and when we got there the whole area was jam-packed with all kinds of people and these were tourists but I'd say a lot of these people were festival goers you know Glastonbury types who happened to be in the area and thought hey let's go and see what's happening at Stonehenge so I decided to draw some cards and here you can see group one the little mini bit Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. I'm here at Stonehenge. Uh, let's see what time is it. I think it is 10 past 4 in the morning. And I thought I would do a pick a card for you guys. So this is going to be group number one. And I'll cut the video so that you can see which stone you would like. So I'll give you a bit of time to tune into the Blogger! stone. Blogger! All right. <laughs> Blogger! Group number two, you could choose the fire breather guy. I don't know what to call him, but he's just started uh, giving us a little performance here. So, here we go. Group number two, you've got a fire theme, live fire show happening right here. Let's see what message comes. All right, this one's sticking out. Oh, brilliant. We've got the four of wands, very appropriate for today. This is sometimes considered a bit of a twin flame card. Maybe this is a good omen for your love life, for you finding happiness. This is actually a fantastic depiction for today because that's pretty much what's going on here today. It's a bit of a festival, so this next six months are likely to be pretty amazing for you, group number one. We've also got the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So that is work. So I think you're gonna be busy at work, but this is a really positive omen for your personal life. So thank you so much, group number one. Chose the fire breather guy, whatever that was. Yeah. The performance, the gentleman just behind me. <laughs> you are in the right place. So let's pick a couple of cards and see what comes. All right. Now this one's sticking out. Oh wow. All right. Five of Wands. So the next six months is what I'm going to read on here. And I'm going to say that you are competing. So this is competition, you're striving. It's really interesting, we've got fire here on the card. So we just had a fire guy, so isn't that interesting that that uh, is there? And it's really interesting because I'll show you a little bit of footage before, before it was just gonna be an empty field. But then this gentleman just came and he started performing. He lit his fire thingy and started performing. So that's you. It's like you need to perform. It's like you need to show your stuff. It's like you need to 
uh, be out there, be competing, be performing, be seen. That's going to be really important. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Okay, two of swords. At times, you will not feel sure about this. You won't feel sure that, you know, and it might feel like you're not ready. You might feel indecisive. You might feel now's not the time. It's okay if there's some delay here and there. We do have Saturn retrograde for the next six months, so it's all right. But I think the main card that we drew here is really this Five of Wands. You've got to be seen. You've got to be competing, doing your thing, sharing your love with the world. That's what you got to do, group number two. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. And we're now going to head to group number three. I'm going to draw a card and then I'm going to tell you what's on the bottom of the deck. Okay. And I'll tell you the time as well. It's now 10 to 5. So we've got a lot more daylight. Group number one. I think it was, was it 10 past 4. Very different scene. All right. Let's take a look. Your card is... Oh my God. Get out. Four of Wands. <laughs> so we've got the same card, I do believe, as group number one. That is pretty amazing. Uh, on the bottom of the deck, we have got the beautiful Six of Wands. So this is really lovely. Gosh, I've forgotten what group one was on the bottom of the deck. I've forgotten that already. How have I forgotten that? Well, anyway, Four of Wands. This is a great omen for your personal life. This is celebration, party, festival. This is actually what's going on all around me at the moment. So this is you, group number three. And what I'm loving is that you've got the six of ones as well. This is just success. We've got music in the background. I don't know if you can see it. We've got success, we've got victory, wands, creativity, keeping creative, group number three, share your stuff with the world. We've got, I mean, this is two cards of fire here. So amazing. Creativity, a little bit like group two in that you should share what you have to share with the world. People are going to love it. All right, that's it. So where is Stonehenge? Well, it is about a couple of hours drive west of London. And it's basically this circular formation of stones in the middle of a giant field. And it's said to be 25% of the original monument. Some other facts about it. There are five huge arches whose massive blocks weigh about 22 tons each. And the thing about these stones is that they have been transported from about 120 miles away. Archaeologists have figured out that they come from Wales, actually. And they are blue, spones, blue stones spotted dol dolerite, is what I was able to find out. They're really quite beautiful. But we were there, my friend and I, to celebrate her birthday, actually, which is tomorrow. And we were walking around and, you know, it's kind of crazy energy and some crazy people as well. There were people who were trying to extract energy from the stones and things like that. And my friend grabbed my hand. And she's like, come, come, come here. And we're walking through the crowd and we walk over to where all these people have their backs turned to the stones and they're all just looking at the sun and this was really beautiful and this was actually the part that my friend and I enjoyed the very most we really liked this part which is kind of funny because we didn't really need to travel so far or spend any money to enjoy a gorgeous sunrise you know that happens for free on our doorstep every single day so guys wherever you are i hope you can look up at the sky that's where the true magic is you know you could you could travel far distances you could try to 
brush up against some stone and extract energy from that or you could simply look up and see the magic show in the sky that is produced for us for free every single day of the week. I hope you enjoyed my little trip to Stonehenge and I look forward to seeing you next time.